himself who scored the hat trick inside 25 minutes last week. And he turn a quick pass on the outside and see you later to try under the post. Nick Lemon looking for his second try as he beats Gunton on the outside. And he goes over in the corner with another TV dive. The return of the Gold Cup proved to be well worth the break as we got off to a thriller of matches. Uganda managed to beat visiting Tunisia 67-12, clinching their first win in the tournament. Now, home advantage didn't mean much for Zimbabwe as Namibia went racing past them in Bulawayo. The historic victory for the Cranes featured 12 tries and the home crowd had much to cheer about. It was a do or die match for the Cranes who had not yet won a match in the tournament. In fact, a loss to Tunisia would almost guarantee relegation. By halftime, Tunisia had only managed to score a try in the face of 25 points added by the home side. Now, one would expect Tunisia to take a few pointers from their last victory against Zimbabwe, but it was worth nothing as Uganda upped the ante in the second half. Their well-oiled massive mobile our machines proved to be too much for the North Africans. Uganda face Morocco next week in Kampala. Uh, the game didn't start off well, but we kept on by pounding pressure, pounding pressure, and in the end, it opened up and we had to capitalize on that and we scored as much as we could. In the history of the Gold Cup, Zimbabwe has proved to be a thorn in the side of Namibia. And this time, they certainly gave them a run for it in Bulawayo. The two played similar styles of rugby with the odds being even in the forwards. However, handling errors and defensive cracks allowed Namibia to dominate the end of the first half, which ended 27-7. The second half was absolutely crazy as Zimbabwe broke this season's record, scoring four tries against Namibia, the highest by any team so far. However, this was a little too late as the Namibians were on course to yet another victory. In the next round of matches, Uganda host Morocco in Kampala and Tunisia travel to Kenya. Namibia and Kenya remain at the top of the table, but all eyes are actually on the bottom of the table. And the question is, who is going to be kicked out of the Gold Cup? If you want to find out more, you want to stay tuned to the Gold Cup Roundup. The Gold Cup Roundup is brought to you by APO Group, the main official sponsors of Rugby Africa. And it's run, Kitzel! Kitzel, who scored the hat trick! 25 minutes last week and he turned a quick pass on the outside and see you later to try under the post. Nick Lemon looking for his second try as he beats Gunton on the outside.